Welcome once again. In this session, we are reading 1 John chapter 3, and this is an extraordinary chapter. It's got so much stuff packed in this chapter, I'm going to have to divide this up into several different videos. It talks about what sin is. It defines sin. It's the only place that explicitly defines sin within the New Testament. It talks about who is righteous. What does it take to be righteous? What does it take to be wicked? And who is of the devil? It talks about all that stuff and much more. Let's get right into this. Verse 1. See how great a love the Father has given to us, that we should be called the children of God. For this cause the world doesn't know us, because it didn't know Him. You see how connected we are supposed to be to Him? We are to be so at one with Him, it says that the world does not know us. In other words, the world doesn't really understand us, because it doesn't understand God. And a lot of people say, well, you know, well, only Jesus, only Jesus can do this. Only Jesus can do that. Only Jesus can obey the law. That's for, that's one good example. Well, in Luke chapter one, verse six, it says Zechariah and Elizabeth, the parents of John the Baptist, both walked in all, my Bible says, all the commandments of the Lord blamelessly. And that's before Jesus was even born. If they can do it before Jesus, how much more we with Jesus? So don't say only Jesus can do this or do that. Jesus himself said in John chapter 14 that he who believes in me will do the things that I've been doing and even greater. First of all, think about doing what Jesus did. Think about doing the works that he did. And he said that those who believe in him can do even greater. Verse two, beloved, now we are the children of God. A lot of people think that everybody is a child of God. They say, we are God's precious creation. That just because God created us, that means that we're children of God. Absolutely not. It says in the scriptures, by nature, we are created objects of wrath, the wrath of God. But we must be born again, born of God. That's the whole reason why someone has to be born again in order to see the kingdom of heaven. And on top of that, don't forget, John chapter 8, Jesus called a whole group of people the children of the devil. He said, your father is the devil. Not everybody is a child of God. The last part of verse 2, it is not yet revealed what we will be, but we know that when he is revealed, we will be like him. We shall see him just as he is. Again, we have that connection We are a mirror of the Lord. When he shows up, his glory, his light will shine off of us. Verse 3, everyone who has this hope set on him purifies himself even as he is pure. So how does that work? Well, when you are looking forward to that day when Jesus comes back, when he is revealed to the world, you have that long-term goal. Therefore, you plan long-term. Therefore, you don't think like the world thinks. You don't live like the world lives because you are looking forward to that great and glorious day. You are looking forward to judgment day. Until next time, seek God with all your heart and you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.